Alright guys, hello and welcome back. Uh, I thought I didn't uh, start recording it properly, but I, I have done. So welcome back guys to Resident Evil 3. We've just gone, we, oh, actually I was going to catch you guys uh, when I got back to the, um, the where it was. Well, I haven't done that. I completely forgot. Uh, I decided not to record anything else on this last night. Um, but I do want to try and get this done if I can. And... Okay. So I want to try and do a video of this now and then come back to it again later on. Um, uh, so I'm going to do a video now and then when I actually cook my food I'm then going to do another 30 minute video. Uh, it will be 30 minutes. I do need to go back to the substation to get the uh, gunpowder that I left. Um, we need to check other places as well to see where we've got every single file in the game. So if we decide to jump off, This will take us out uh, or out of the uh, sewer, and that's the only way you can actually get in there. Right, I don't think we're going to be able to use any more of the uh, handgun now, because uh, I've almost run out. Oh fuck! I didn't know that was gonna happen. I forgot about that. I thought, oh, for some reason, I got it in my head it, it was B gunpowder, but it was actually C. All right, no Vicky. 
Oh, one sec, guys. Alright, guys, so about another uh, 20 minutes or so, uh, I've just got the oven heating up. Uh, I'm gonna leave it for about 20 minutes or so. Uh, let's put the uh, holding tool away. Sorry about that, I had a phone call that I had to go and take. Um, <laughs> I remember someone's comment from a long time ago on my channel. And I had a phone call and I had to cut the video short. And the comment was, the video cut short by a mysterious phone call. Yes, the phone call was actually by my current uh, girlfriend, um, I believe. Uh, I'm sure, well, I haven't obviously spoken a lot about that. But you guys know about, uh, it's my, you know, that I do suffer from mental health. Uh, I have done for a number of years. And uh, this uh, was, um, we, we, we've been on and off, me and my other half have been on and off. Um, we can refer to her as Mrs. Classic for now. Um, and uh, we've had some troubled times, both of us who have uh, trouble with you know, life in general and just with our own health. And um, we suffered a great loss uh, a couple of years ago. I won't go into details about it fully, but it was a real traumatic time for us both as uh, as two people. And the, the, the thing we suffered was uh, just what two people in life should not ever suffer. Uh, and it was horrific. It was really bad for us both. We both had a time where we were really uh, going through. Uh, and it was a really troubled time. Um, and we have both decided, uh, as much as some people find it hard to understand our reason, um, why we have decided to give things another go. And in the last couple of months, um, we have been we've been doing really well. I mean, really well. Uh, we are a lot stronger than we have ever been in ever I think in our in our 10 year relationship yes 10 years on and off for 10 years um, and uh, we met on uh, when, when I when we were a lot younger and uh, I was living where I am now um, and things were just really hard on us both and just weren't uh, just, time wasn't kind to us um, to either one of us and we've now had the opportunity uh, to um, try again and it's going really well. I am in a really good place at the moment uh, myself and she is uh, doing really well on things. She's actually been away this week uh, for a job and uh, she's doing fantastically. I am so proud of her um, and we both uh, when it happened, it was like uh, it was we both lent on each other too much, and it almost you know, it, it kind of was bad on us both from two different degrees. And since we got back together, we have uh, not we haven't dwelled on like put anything a lot on on each other's conscious. Um, and it's actually helped our relationship blossom and just evolve into this really really nice. Um, fantastic uh, relationship we've got and we both want this to work we both want this to be um, it this is it for me uh, this is it for her as well I just want to read this sign oh I can't okay. Uh, I don't think I need to worry about freeze rounds. I think I'll get a chance to later. Yeah. No! 
No! No! Fuck! Jill! Jill! What's wrong?
There we go. So, unfortunately, we've got a bit of a problem. No, I don't want to load. What about the fact, we're about to see an enemy.
if you defeat him here, he then grows weaker later, so he won't reappear. So, you don't really have the ammo on hard, but you probably could. If you tried it, you probably could do it. But I always escape before it. This terrified me when I was younger. I absolutely scared the shit out of me. But I am going to get to the uh, uh, clock tower. And then I think I might just have a break. Uh, I was going to do like a half an hour during when I had the food cooking. But I'm just going to have a break I think, from it. I can't remember which decision you need to make in order to get Carlos to give you the freeze rounds. It looks like we're ready to go. Here, take this. Okay. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. I understand. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. No. Don't come any closer. Stay away. It's looking good. I think if you leave him, you get freeze rounds. Carlos. It's useless. No! So that's what I'm going to finish this video guys, so thanks for watching, we're going to be, we're now here at the clock tower, the second part of the game, uh, so yeah, that's it, so thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you next time guys, ta-ta for now.